All right, guys, I'm out here on beautiful Cherokee Lake. It's the day after day two on Douglas. It did not go as well as I had planned on it going. Uh, so I've got some video footage here that I'll kick it off with. I think I ended up weighing nine and a half pounds, uh, which is not a good bag by any means on, on Douglas. I, I started off, I went to one area that I felt like had some better quality fish and I caught a two and a half pounder, which was a good start to the day. After about an hour and a half, I then ran to an area that I knew had a bunch of fish in it and figured I'd catch, uh, finish off my limit, which could then provide me the opportunity to go after the bigger fish, uh, or to fish for bigger fish. And uh, so I've got some video footage of the beginning part of the day and I'll show that. Take them, number one.
At this point, I had a limit for nine and a half pounds. I had probably caught a dozen keepers, and I, I just, I was culling, you know, I had several like 12 and a half inch fish, but I was culling one five to one six, balance beaming two one sixes to one seven. And I had gotten to the point where it was like 11.30, I had to check in at 3.25, and I knew I needed the better quality fish. Now I'm not fishing this event for, for points for like a season ending championship. I'm fishing to make the Elite Series, and to do that I needed a, a really high finish to keep me in, in the points contention after finishing 41st at the Harris Chain. So I knew I needed like a top 20. So at this point I said, you know what, I'm not, I don't feel confident I'm gonna catch a, a three pound class fish doing what I was doing because they were all smaller males. And the majority, almost every big fish I'd seen that week had come off a dock. You guys saw on day one, I caught a five pounder off a dock. In practice, I had a four and a half. You know, I, I knew of a couple other big fish that had been caught off docks. So I, I decided to commit my last three hours to chasing bigger fish. Now I wasn't getting many bites off docks, but when you got bit, it was a better quality fish. So I, I spent the last three hours running from dock to dock to dock to dock, and I had two bites, and each of those bites felt really good. I had one that got me kind of tied up uh, in the back of a dock around some cables and got off, and I had the other one you know, it was one of those fish that hit it really good, swam out towards me, I leaned back, hit him, and the rod loaded up and long enough for me to think, this is this is her, this is a big one, and it just pulled out. So I'm not disappointed with my game plan strategy. If this was a pro circuit event where I was trying to make the championship, I would have gone to a couple of two pound class fish, two and a half maybe, that were sitting on beds, uh, and spent the time knowing that if I could catch just one of those, I could, you know, move up 30 places and points so i feel like i had i stuck with the game plan i was doing mixed in a couple of those two two and a quarter pound class bed fish i could have caught 11 pounds i feel very confident in that but 11 pounds wouldn't have done anything for me it would have meant i had ended up uh you know probably in the 60s and points i wouldn't have gotten paid and i i'd be in a position where i'm at right now where i don't have a shot at making the elites in this division so i'm okay with my game plan because you know it didn't pan out but i was fishing the best way that i knew how to to catch a big fish to really move up in the standings and i honestly don't get to do that a lot uh normally in a, like i said the pro circuit event my strategy is all about points in this case i i switched over to fish the win so i know my results you know i think i finished right at about 100 out of the 225 boats which is not a good tournament by any means but I could have definitely salvaged some points, but it, it really wouldn't have mattered in the long run. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll do a little uh, recap video on some of the tackle I used. Pretty, pretty straightforward, um, but I'll, I'll have a video ready for that as well. So, thanks for watching.